Hey guys, Dan921 here. Welcome back to my Spore Let's Play. And we have finished the civilization stage, so it's time to advance to space. Awesome. So this is a little bit of history. It's nothing too major. Um, we just killed some people, built some things. Also, there's this zealot thing. I've never seen this before. I have no idea what it is, but it, it kind of sounds awesome, so I might have to look into actually how to get that, but yeah, it just looks really cool. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's get into the creation. Awesome. So, yeah, we have our little scientists and builders and everything working on making a spaceship. Which is what we're actually going to be doing. Um, I don't know what kind of spaceship we want. Maybe something like... That looks kind of cool. Um, maybe... If we... No. What do I want to do then? Not that. I guess if we could raise that up a little bit. Bring it out a little bit. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. But I would like to have this. What if we do something like... No, that, that would make no sense for space travel. Um... Hmm, what else do we have? I want something that's kind of like quite sleek kind of thing. Um, it's kind of hard to uh, to say exactly what kind of thing I want. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to design this off camera because I'm going to be here for quite a while, I imagine. Uh, so I will see you once we've got some sort of design. I think we're done. Um, so it's not the best, but it'll do. Um, I did kind of steal a design. Um, I will show you which one. Uh, I stole this double saucer, this one. Um, and I just modified it a little bit. Um, I did these little pincers, which, you know, represents our race because we've got the extra hands kind of thing. Uh, I've given it uh, VTOL capabilities. Um, not sure how it's going to work with the front bit, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll work, weirdly. Um, whoops. What, what did I just do? No. Oh. Oh, now I'm breaking everything. There we go. Right. Now I've finished breaking everything. So, uh, we've added this big, big thruster. So, this is going to fly through space. Uh, we don't currently have any weapons on this. Uh, we could put some on, I guess. Just just for safety. Um, what are these? Weird things. Um, so... What do we want? We could put a couple of these on, maybe? Like, just tuck them under there. That might not be too bad, because we're not going to be an aggressive... Well, we kind of are. We're not going to be majorly aggressive. Um, so we don't want too much in the way of weaponry. So I think that shall do it. So it's not the best ship, it's not the most appealing, but it's fine. Um, it's got the arms, which is kind of something that I did originally want to do, so kind of happy about that. Galactic God. Ooh. Players of Zealot. Um, I didn't know we were playing as one of those. Okay. And there's our ship. Looks kind of cool to me. 
Uh, lift off. You've successfully developed a ship capable of space flight. The heavens beckon. The cosmos awaits. The universe is at your fingertips uh, if you can learn to fly this thing. Yeah. Well, luckily, it's not too difficult to uh, to fly. You, know, you uh, can use either click or you can use W, A, S, and D. Um, it depends which one you prefer. I mean, again, I normally do prefer the W, A, S, and D. Uh, the movement, the Spoilers. click thing. Uh, congratulations, cadet. You've got a fine ride there. Blah blah blah. Have you flown a spaceship before? What do you say? Ready to blah 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 blah. I already know how to command my ship. Uh, I feel you made the roses and blah blah blah. Are you prepared? prepared? Yes. Uh, in this case, seems like we're looking at a new captain. Are you ready to take more exciting missions? Yes. Captain, uh, get your spandex suit. We're sending you on a space journey. We suspect you're not alone. We are not alone in this galaxy. We've picked up strange radio signals. Uh, okay, so we've just got to go check out another planet. Awesome. Congratulations, you have earned the badge and title of captain. Awesome. Uh, my collections. Um, oh, so that's just all the random stuff. Okay, earn badges through your actions and adventures in space. As you earn badges, you'll move up in rank and no titles, no abilities, and unlocking tools. Uh, tools are unlocked by earning blah, blah, blah. Some tools are consumable and require restocking. Other tools are permanent and might cost energy to use. Okay, so yeah, we've got available for purchase. Col colony, a ready pack. Places a colony on a planet. That's something that could be good. Uh, scan, radar, we've got weapons. Uh, what's this? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how we... Oh, yes, it's all down here. I remember now. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now. So we need to exit our solar system. Well, exit to the solar system. Exit our planet. And where was the planet that we needed to go? Um, That one, wasn't it? Yeah, follow, fly to planet and do leave. If that's even what it's called. It looks like it, so that's what I'm going with. Oh, this is our scan. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. I believe it's... Yeah, it's a ship. It's a crushed spacecraft and it's emitting a strange radio signal. Fly to it and use a scan tool to investigate the crash site. So when you're scanning, you did get this little beacon thing and it's quite simple. You just fly to it and then we can scan. Uh, your active tool is shown in your spaceship portrait. To deactivate the tool, press the escape key. Like that. Fairly simple. So, I believe we just do that. You have to hold the mouse button down. Forgot about that. Aliens, but no signs of life. Look like they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait, the wreck has triggered a transfer beam. Some items are coming aboard. Ooh. So, we've got some items, I guess. There we go. So what did we get? Was it good? Was it bad? I don't know. Uh, missiles in an interstellar drive which seems to have un an unknown star's coordinates programmed into it. The wreck damage looks like it came from a flight. Uh, a fight. This ship must have been sent from some other planet to get help. Okay, so now we need to go into, I presume, the... Uh, the uh, place where this is sending us. Uh, the interstellar drive from the wreck is responding to a beacon from a nearby star that matches the coordinates in its memory. This must be the home planet and may still be needing help. So let's go. Yep, so we're going to go down to here. And again, something has been shown up. 
And it's a city. Too late, these runes must be what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Scanning the runes may reveal clues to what happened here. So, yeah, we might as well go and scan. So let's get down. There we go. The scan came up with nothing, but it seems to have triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. This, uh, I believe, automated de automated defense, if I remember rightly. Now, uh, scan must have triggered. Yeah, the defense is the drones don't look friendly. Wait, an incoming transmission. Warning: Grox intruders detected. All Grox intruders will be terminated. Initially, blah blah blah. All Grox intruders will be terminated. One all going. Yeah. So, this is where the combat comes in. Some tools like the Mineralizer cost energy to use. Refill energy in a health via the communication screen. The service is free from your home world. So, we can just, uh, just pretty much hold your mouse over them and hold the button down and you'll be fine. So if I was kind of interesting in this, uh, I can't remember exactly how complex they get, but yeah, it looks it's pretty fun. Uh, also, I never showed you this, but this when you're on this screen, this circle is how far you can travel. Um, I don't think we can actually travel to any of these other places just yet, but. Uh, that is the radius of how far we can travel, so we can go to there, but we cannot go to there. But we can't go to either right now, because we've got to go home. Uh, your SETI device has received a strange radio, radio signal emitting from this star. Fly in and explore. I thought this was our home world. Is it not? Yeah, this is our home world. Hmm. Strange. Um, yeah, this is our home world with all our little guys on. Which, um, yeah, we can still actually do things with, which is kind of cool. Um, so if there was ones that we haven't got anything on, we could technically do it, but I'm not majorly fussed about it. Not right now, at least. Um, blah, blah, blah. If you want to read this, I'm just going to skim over it. If you want to read it, pause the video. But yeah, I'm not going to... Uh, not going to... Too desperately read everything. Uh, okay, so this basically tells you how to colonize things. Yep, okay. So, um, I do want to have a... Uh, I would like to discuss. I would like to repair, because it is free here. Uh, and let's see what we can trade. Uh, we could trade for a colony in credit pack, but we currently can't, uh, which is fine. We can sell these, however. So, if we sold these, we would get 675 for them. Um, but um, other places, we might get more. Or we might get less. Because obviously we're mining that spice on that planet. So it's not going to be too um, too great for us. Now I need to find... Yep. Yep, whatever. I honestly cannot remember what half of this stuff does. But it's going to be fun to find out. So we are now in a new solar system. Planet in, planets in green orbit are easy to terraform and colonize than planets in red or blue orbit paths. Okay, that that is honestly good to know. So, that one. So, this is an easier planet to terraform. Um, right. This should be quite interesting. So, colonies can be established on any planet 
from barren moons to uh, lush terrascope three oases. Uh, fruitful colonies, mine space, spice that can be traded. Yeah, so this just trades all the different spices and things. Um, so I guess we want to just put down a colony pack. Uh, where do we want to put it? I, here would probably be a nice, nice place to put it. Uh, it's quite open, although that doesn't look too promising. Hmm. Maybe I don't know if the uh, geysers are. They, I don't know if they have to be in the blue area, but they should be. And yeah, boom. That is so cool. And boom. So that's obviously its own little atmosphere. Congratulations, you have grown your empire. Each colony produce productivity is tied to its size, so it's limited by the terrascore of the planet. Invest in terraforming, then add colonies and building to reap the highest reward. So you can obviously uh, make things better for these guys. Uh, yeah, we can't currently make any of this. So I believe this is where we do the terraforming. Um, yep, so they've landed and... Let's go to trade. Do we have see we can get five thousand per of these where it was two hundred on the other planet, so that's pretty damn good. So um something I'd help with blah blah I'm interested. Uh can you replace them? Abduct a planet. Okay. Uh, work quickly upon arrival. You have three seconds to identify and retrieve the specimen. We look forward to your return. Um, I don't think I actually have the available tools to do this. Yeah, I don't think I've got the available tools to do that, so I'm not going to right now. Because uh, I think I need something that... Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, that might be another planet. That might be sending transmission out. But yeah, I unfortunately cannot do that just yet. You have collected spice. Spice is a valued commodity. Collected from your colonies and homeworld each time you visit them. So pretty much, yeah. If you want to collect your spice, you have to go to the planets. Which... Slightly annoying, but you know, it's understandable. Um, yeah, okay, I'll speak to him. Uh, where do I find these people? Uh, da -da -da. Need to explore a bit. Okay, yep. Yeah, I've got it. Understood. And can I uh, recharge? And. Yeah, there's nothing uh, else I can buy just yet. So we need to go and find another alien empire. However, I think I will leave that for next episode. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I want to say thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time.